Morning, everybody. Hope you're all keeping well. Patreon live exclusive here. Josh Warrington against Mauricio Lara. Steve Wellings on the call alongside Matty DiGiallonardo. Andy Patterson, Gabe Lewis and rapping Rob Kelly getting ready for the Josh Warrington versus Lara fight to start. Matty was just telling us quite an interesting story there, Andy, before we went on air. I think we'll leave that one um, <laughs> behind oh, the paywall. Yes, <laughs> Listen, honest to God, see, see if it, 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 oh, listen, if you, you subscribe to Patreon, obviously, this is Patreon Live. Um, if we could do some outtakes now, what, what we talk about off air and that, it would sink in there, mate. It would end up on the, on, on the dark web, but it's, it's that, it's that disgusting. That's it would get is. me, it would get me sued. Yeah, I mean, but, yeah, and Andy, you ought to tell the folks the story about what you got your, uh, your dog put down. No. <laughs> Anyways, back to the fight. <laughs> is that bull? Is that bulldog related, Andy? No, it's bulldog related. <laughs> after the pod, after the pod. <laughs> that's, that's called backfire related. That's what that is. <laughs> it's all going a bit wild, guys. Yes, there's uh, five, six, seven people hanging around. If you are here, let us know in the chat. Give us a shout out, Matty. How are you keeping on this Saturday evening, morning, afternoon? What time is it there? Uh, it's uh three thirty in the afternoon here, so I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, getting ready to watch this and the uh the American fights coming up. Uh, it's a good day for boxing, and uh you know uh sitting inside talking to you guys and uh, being a jackass. That's why I do best. Absolutely, uh, the zone. I believe you're watching it on the zone, Matty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to have the subscription. Who's doing the zone tonight? Who's on the punditry? I... Uh, go. Uh, who's it? Um, well, I don't know if it's the same for you guys there in America, Matty, but it's um, Paul Smith and Nick Holland. I am. Be the anyway. You know, I'll I'll be dead honest with you guys. I don't really pay much attention to the announced crew at all. I don't notice much anymore because they always lead you astray. <coughs> one of the one of the worst I remember was watching the Pacquiao Horn fight. And I'm not going to argue that Horn won the fight, but it was closer than people thought because the announcing was so shit. I remember that uh, Horn backed Pacquiao up to the ropes. This thing was seventh or eighth round. Landed a smoking right hand. It was, I mean, smoking. The American uh, uh, cra uh, crew didn't call it whatsoever. They didn't reference the punch, didn't say what a great shot that Horn just landed. They acted like it didn't even happen. So, you know, I don't give a fuck who's announcing it. I know what my eyes see. Fuck the announcer, says Matty. Gabe's with us as well. You're watching it on the zone too, Gabe. How you keeping? Oh, I'm doing good. It's cold as fuck here. Give you a little weather update. It's supposed to be like fucking negative three is the low on Monday. It's like barely 22 degrees right now. Uh, so, yeah, just bundled up in the goddamn house, watching some boxing, hoping it's, the power didn't go the fuck out. It's zero here right now, dude. Is it really? Yeah, minus, we're, is, we're talking minus, zero minus Fahrenheit. Five, minus five degrees centigrade. But yeah, I'm it was so... snowing earlier today. Yeah, yeah same here. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's fucking wild. I, I've never seen this kind of weather before. And is it bad uh, where you are, Gabe? Eh? What's that? Is it bad where you are? You up, you up in the hills or something like that? I mean, you stay in Texas. How the fuck are you getting snow and bad weather? Uh, it snows occasionally here. But it's usually like enough where you can see the grass poking out of the snow. Uh, we had a big snow maybe about a foot earlier this year. And then that was right around New Year's. And now this this blast is supposed to going to snow all day tomorrow and then uh, hit again on Wednesday. So what happens here is since nobody's fucking prepared for it, the trees all get frozen and shit and power and they fall on power lines and all kinds of terrible shit. And you'll have Anarchy, people going without chaos, power for fantastic. <laughs> you'll have people going without fucking power for sometimes days, man. It's fucking nuts. It's so Bro. fucking it's so fucking cold right now that homeless people are giving each other hand jobs in the alleys just to stay warm. <laughs> I see that brass. I see that brass monkey crying his eyes out. <laughs> One man who's not afraid of the elements is rapping Rob Kelly. He's out there. Are you safe, Rob? Are you okay? Fucking nuts, man. My, my, my mind is 10 and I have in the room, man. And he said he saw a, br a brass monkey crying. I seen a polar bear with hypothermia. I just walked past him there. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> hypothermia, he's probably got a fucking Berkus one from the universe. Um, a lot of people haven't seen um, Mauricio Lara, and I'm one of them too, because I'm outside. I haven't fucking seen him at all, so I, apparently he's on the way to the ring. <laughs> As soon as I'm back in the gaff, when that is, I don't know, but uh, I'll enjoy the commentary uh, from from the listener's perspective until then. And yeah, I'm sure I'll try to make some great. Uh, I could, I probably could just profit um, a la Hater Dave 
and give me my own commentary <laughs> while it's going on. Maybe I'll do that. Like. Uh, yes, so, I'm a, I'm a good few seconds behind, I think, at the moment. What's going on, Andy? I've got a um, face-off, just the instructions for the referee. Okay, boys are in the chat here. James Windsor says, Leeds, world of DW, says this fight is going to be shit. <laughs> we Massive, it. let's go. I, I wonder boys, how delayed we're going to be between us right now. Well, I think I'm the one that's in front, but I've, I must admit, I'm going to say, I've always had a soft spot for Leeds. I've got family there, and my godson's for Leeds and stuff like that, so let's have it. Here we go, first round. <laughs> Please. We've got Rob Kelly coming from us with the weather report from the top of the Alps. Rob, how's it looking up there? Why is it sounding bad there? Yeah. You said that I go ahead. What I'm thinking to him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, I got action in the ring. Do you yeah, guys? Yeah, I've got, I've got the action. Yeah. So Warden starts pretty, pretty quick. You know, some body shots, backing them up and stuff. Lara's just kind of like coming back in it a wee bit there. I've got the so, dude in the black trunks. I'm at two, I'm at two, two, almost two ten in the round. What, what was your prediction last week, Matty? I can't remember. Are you fancying Lara for this? No, I like, I like Warrington, but it, I think it's a matter of he needs to get him out in style. He needs to make sure he doesn't get cut and he needs to make a statement because now he doesn't have the title. I, I get the idea of you know uh, you know not wanting to go through the IBF because of former foes and stuff like that, but he absolutely needs to finish this fight in some sort of a fashion that uh, draws attention to him and, and brings a, a big name his direction. The guys in there to want to make Ooh, money. Caught with uppercut there, Warrington. Right uppercut. Gabe, what about Warrington's tattoos on the leg? Um, are you a fan of leg tattoos? No, I personally, I don't give much of a damn about any of that kind of stuff. I mean, I, sometimes it's funny to see some of the shit people put on them. Uh, but, you know, as far as I get that, that makes no difference to me. I, I agree with Maddie, though. I kind of want to see a good, uh, solid outing from Warrington. I'm expecting him to do the business here. Um, but uh, so far, it's looking like he's getting caught here and there with some punches. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit early to say it's going to swing around, but he's big. He looks really big, looks really strong compared to compared to uh, his opponent. So, uh We'll see how that goes. But Lara is willing to punch with Warrington, and and that's the I think that's the only way he's going to have a chance to win is just catching him in between a punch, and it's all of a matter of who can land cleaner in an exchange. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. He's just doing exactly that. Yeah, good job from Warrington. He, he does look a lot bigger than Lara, but the fact that Lara is going to come out swinging for the early rounds, hopefully. Uh, what about the uh, distance, Andy? I thought it was a 10-rounder on Box X. There's a 12 here. Yeah, I've just noticed that there as well, mate. I thought... Uh... I thought the same. Let's give me a quick second. Just gonna check box rex got twelve rounds up there as well. I so yeah, must be twelve rounds right enough. It, it it looks like Warrington's landing enough significant shots in there to already make Lara think about throwing with him. Uh, he, he landed a good right hand in a little three shot combo right there, and I don't think I've seen Lara throw since. Well, there we go. Yeah, a couple of left hooks to the body. If Lara catches my right hand on the bell as well. Yeah, he's came to fight this uh, the Mexican anyway. So uh, you know, I think he'll he'll, he'll extend he'll extend the warrant. I think a few rounds. Um, again, the, well, I think it'll depend on if warrant's going to kind of cut loose, extend himself, and just try and get him out of there. But I agree. You know, at the end of the day as well, he's been out, he's been at the ring now. It's well well over a year anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it 15, 16 months? Yes. Yeah. Probably need some rounds and stuff like that. And it's, it's, I think this guy will definitely give him. him def Without question. Is Laura cut on the right eye from what I can see? Has anybody else noticed adverse, that? I'm on the adverse of snow, mate, on my feet. No. I've still got 10 seconds to go in the first round. I'm seeing, I thought I saw a cut on Laura's right eye. I could be wrong. Yeah, you're behind us just a smidge. Yeah, a fair bit, actually, to be honest with you. Um, no, his eyes look fine here, mate, to be honest with you. Oh, but they're, they're doing something to the right eye, actually. They're putting some. Yeah, it's there. like trickling down the side of the right eye, from what I can see at the end the of the camera. The camera angle wasn't good for me there, yeah. so on the left side, so we'll see it. We'll keep an eye on it. See, round two is just starting just now for me. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind you, Andy. Uh, yeah, it looks like you're first, uh, me and Gabe, yeah, and then like Steve. <laughs> Steve's on Sky, but he's on the Sky Go mobile, so that's the reason why he's you know, the mobile is always always behind, always is. I've case. got I've got my brother's login. You see, he needs to up his yeah. game and get and, and invest in a better package. I think Andy, the tight bastard. 
I'll tell you what I did. I'll tell you what I didn't like about what well, Warrington the zone. <laughs> I, I didn't like when Warrington, he was coming forward in a straight line, throwing in combination with his chin straight up in the air. You know, I don't know if it's this fight where that gets him in trouble, but he needs to look, oh, no, really no, think no. about how he plies his offense. Can you hear us, Rob? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. He's on mute then, anyway. Oh, he disappeared. In and out is old Roberto. So, IBF title's vacant. Then Kid Galahad against Jazza Dickens, apparently. They already fought, didn't they? I think uh, Galahad knocked him out a good few years ago now on a Mick Hennessy show. So, I'm, I'm a bit underwhelmed by that, to be honest. Although, Dickens has improved since that fight. There's Rob again now. Are they both Hearn fighters? Uh, Dickens is MTK. They fought before on the Hennessy card about seven or eight years ago. Uh, Dickens did well, but Galahad stopped him late on. Galahad's an awkward fighter, man. I think he'd be a difficult out for anybody. Yeah, I mean, I remember, I remember Burns used to use him a lot for his world title defences and stuff like that, purely for the fact is, you know, if he was ever fighting cagey guys, and I think he, he definitely used them for uh, the Mitchell fight. And they used them possibly for the Crawford fight as well, I think. Uh, World of DW in the chat says Kiko robbed again. He beat Warrington as well, just. Yeah, that was... We'll talk about that. Yeah. that was yeah. a disgrace, man. I mean, look, you know, Tony Bell... Sorry, Anthony Bell, you coming out of there on Twitter and talking about, oh, well done, Eddie Hearn and stuff. Well, that's been happening on, on, on those cards for, for long enough now. We've been saying that before lockdown, during lockdown, that that was just happening far, far too often. And just Eddie's just called... It's, these guys are kind of coming inside here and winging <laughs> shots away, hooks... Left it's galore. Yeah, it's some good action here. Um, uh, 35 I dipped out. I, I caught around there. I, I pulled up a stream on first row on the phone and I was trying to watch the two of them at the same time again, but I just stuck on it. Um, <laughs> can't hear me again, no? Yeah, can't no, hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, I think Warrington's not jabbing his way in, like from, from what I could see in the first round. He's kind of, your man's taking him by surprise a bit, Lara. He's, he looks like he's got heavy hands in him. He caught my right uppercut in that first round, mate, as well. Uh, that Warren definitely a, backed off with. Like, caught him a couple of times, yeah. yeah. He's landed a couple of shots. He's, he's having a go anyway, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's, he's certainly... He's, 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 he's willing to punch with, with Warren, and he's willing to go forward with him as well. So Warren is backing off him. So I don't know if... you know. Again, it will depend. Well, only he'll know how guy how, how heavy this guy punches and how, you know, how, how heavy those punches are. So you can see, it's definitely warming up anyway. I just thought Warrington looked just slightly tentative on the jab, maybe because he's thinking of something coming back. Like, it just, yeah, he's that, he looks exciting so far. What kind of gloves is Warrington wearing? You guys know? By uh, winning the Japanese gloves, yeah, I think, Japanese the pillows. Gloves, mm -hmm. yeah, they look well, if like he got hand problems, then that's interesting, isn't that's it? That's the ones that Morales used to wear, mate. That's the ones yeah. he wore against Pacquiao. Uh huh. They're, they're very soft, aren't they? Yeah, they're, 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 they're really meant for the ones with kind of soft, brittle hands and stuff like that. Well, anyway, the hands are not fucking meant for uh, hitting the heads and stuff like that, you know. A few of the boys well, like here give it, Some of the head movement uh, of, uh, of Lara is keeping him in between some of those punches and allowing him to get his punches in. It's not really tremendous head movement. It's more subtle movements, but yeah, uh, a little bit of a little bit of turning with the punches and, and ducking underneath gives him just a second to get another punch off. And, uh, you know, interesting, I thought uh, that whenever it started cooking up a little bit there uh, near the end of the round, I thought uh, Warrington uh, looked like he wanted to back off a little bit, um, but then he dug back in. So I think that that tells you a lot about what might happen in the future if it keeps going kind of the way it's going, because uh, I think right now Warrington's get, getting the better of it. Just an uh, interesting start. Sky just played there, Steve, that uh, Warrington's been out of the ring for over a year. In that mm -hmm. time frame, Lara's fought five times. Wow. So, it's maybe a wee bit telling, actually, because it says, you know, he is active. He's, he's taking shots, but he's, he's throwing shots as well. You know, you've seen the fight for yourself and that. He's, he's game like he's... So he's wanting to throw with him. Is 126 Lara's usual division, Andy? To be honest, I've never even checked that out. I've never seen any footage of this guy before, actually, to be honest with you. But uh, he's been fighting around about 130 one for the last few years or uh, stuff like that. But again, it's basically been in Mexico, Argentina and stuff like that. So again, these guys are probably sometimes unknown quantities, but at the same time, you just know 
you know, they get they get hard schooling. Like you know, it's it's, it's a fucking really hard hard road for these guys. Sometimes they can surprise you out the, uh, out the blue. No, oh, absolutely. You get a lot of on the job training. You got Orlando yeah, Toledo's and the Miguel the Romans. Bone. You know. Aye, guys I, like I, Robin, Robinson Castellanos, you know, thirteen losses, but tough guy. I love those. I love those guys. You got you got to respect them. You know, it's 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 one thing to come in there with all the promoters supporting you and getting all the right opponents putting your in front of you on the way to a title, but it's another thing to have to fight and claw off the streets to get there and learning your craft along the way. You know, a lot of these guys are incredible because they start at a young age because they have to find a way to feed themselves, you know, and that's a, uh, you talk about a serious driver for learning how to be better at something. Yeah, nothing will do it like poverty. Yeah. yeah okay. I, love, I love the story of Salido, uh, Maddie, I, I, you know, and then, then to fucking Lomachenko thinking he's going to come in and, and take a strap <laughs> from a guy like Orlando fucking Salido. They didn't over. know what was coming. <laughs> oh man! I, hey, look, it was a rough, dirty fight, but you know what? I mean, this guy had tons of experience, and he was nastier, meaner, and tougher than Lomachenko and his fucking Olympic Polish, uh, uh, polished pedigree. Fucking try to win a title in his second pro fight bullshit. You know, fuck top great, rank and Lomachenko for that. I it was love a the great introduction fight. of the pro game for Lomachenko. You know, um, I mean, for a guy that had four hundred fights already. Uh, that was a learning experience for him okay, still, and I, a three. valuable one. Hey, I still got 25 seconds left. Don't tell me what happened. I think <laughs> we talked we talked about it before, but I think guys like Salido, once Salido finally retires, I don't know if he's finally gone yet. I think he is, but, in, you know, Salido, he could fight again. Like, but I think once he's gone, yeah. the last of the Goonies are gone. Like, the fucking, those kind of brutish guys, they don't seem to be coming through as much. No, it, and they're rare. They're rare. You know, you don't see many guys that actually put it together after that many losses who get a title going forward. But I was catching Lara. He's landed a couple of decent left hooks when yeah. uh, when Warrington leans in. You know, they haven't really moved Warrington by any uh, stretch of the imagination. Some, but it's just stuff from the inside, I think, as well, especially when Warrington throws with him. Warrington seems to be jabbing a little bit more, I think. Yeah, especially that round anyway. Yeah, a few more jabs at least. Round four about to start for me here. You should pause it for 20 seconds. <laughs> Catch up with us. Just before we went on air, Matty, just briefly, you were shitting on Jojo Diaz coming in uh, three and a half pounds overweight. Disgraceful. Yeah, yeah, fuck that fat fuck. I hope he gets stopped. But I honestly think just my hunch on this is that I, I and I cannot pronounce the right, the Russian, the, the, his opponent's name, the Rock Russian guy. Off. Thank you. I, I, just, uh, tied up in this as well, by the way. I, I think a bunch of I, nice lads. I yeah. really think that Rakamov has a really sound puncher's chance, and if he if he's not able to stop Diaz, I think if it goes to the cards and and he got the better of it, uh, I really think this is a good draw play. Uh, you know, I mean, just throw two or three bucks on it. I mean, they usually pay like you know like fifteen to one. Um, it's just one of those fights where I think uh, I don't. I think the guy's going to have to win by knockout, and he's got a fair shout to uh, to definitely outperform the favorite. First minute, uh, round four gone here. Wharton jabbing well. Um, Lara's just looking to kind of leap him with some left hooks here, body and head. But uh, so far, so good for Wharton this round. He's jabbing right hands, stepping back, moving upper body. And then side seems to be that, maybe more the boss actually in this uh, this round actually to be honest with you. That's Lara's interesting because a potential head butt there, but yeah, Warren's kind of got him back up. He's caught, he's mate. caught as well. He's caught Lara, isn't he? Yeah, right. I'm not, yeah. not seeing it. It's not, it's not flown anyway. Put it that way. Uh, it's just tickling. It's, 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 it's not what you said about the jab. Yeah. What I'm saying about the jab is that he, his style, from what I saw with that round there. Lara, his his defense is open there. He's like he's just wide open down the middle, like he was just winging shots. So if he can get on the jab, he'd probably be able to establish some dominance. Good shout there from the wilderness. Lara's coming in there with left hooks and that. Warren got caught. I'm sure he got caught by a shot there. All right. Oh, I know he's what to look off, forward to in off. twenty seconds. Oh, it's, it's, a shoot out now. it's a shootout. <laughs> Warren got caught in our game another left hook. Come on, hang off. Lara's. Oh, oh. God damn it! Andy's giving me a Andy's giving me a preview of coming attractions. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good trade. Oh, like, down. Down. 
Go on, Andy. Oh, that's like down heavy. Oh, he's, he's a Woo! bad leg. Like, that's a bad. That's a bad knock. He's gone. He oh, has gone. Legs are dead. He has gone. His legs are oh, gone. Foster's let him go. Can't wait for this. Foster's. Oh, left hook again. And the right hand. He's hold. What's he doing? Hold. <laughs> oh, yes, I made it. Fuck. <laughs> 35, you're right, yeah, 35 <laughs> seconds and Warrington oh, is He has gone, he has gone. Foster's given him too much respect here, by the way. The, he's made the bell, but what a stay he's in. He has... <laughs> he made the bell, he's lost me after the ball, but for this man. This is, for this is chaos. For 20 seconds, you Scottish prick. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> this this commentary is gold, by the way. I'm not a Patreon subscriber, but I might throw 199 in the super chat. This is he's checking there. again. Oh, hang on, that's the first time. <laughs> you should save that and just put it into a shed fund, Rob. I want you out of the wind, buddy. <laughs> I got a shed, but it's not ventilated. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Warrington got fucked wow, there. Wow, wow, yes, left hook, two all left hooks, right hand, all over the place. Like oh I, I told you guys Eddie. that he was Fucking coming with that left hook. I the left hook. It's the left hook. He's been throwing that punch the whole fight, body and up to the head. Sometimes he's been leaping into the shot, but this time he he, he, got, he got, honestly he had full balance. He had full stance in the yeah. middle. Like, oh, what a he shot that was! Jesus, yeah, he's badly gone. If you look at Warren, man, they've poured the water over the top of his head. <laughs> Round five starting, he's backing off. That's Legs one of the drum. reasons. Lara's I still always... punching, man. He's caught again. He's he's standing in the pocket, man. What is he doing? I told you the pause it. Ah! <laughs> get on the jab. Get on the jab. He's going to go on the jab. He's fucking winging shots here like like the front. Think about Frampton, Warren, f round one. This is what yeah. it's like, by the way. Killing this your is what it's like. You're, you're killing me. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> the bell it just started for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll shut up and let you try and catch up. But this is this is this is the no, Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, this is what's so good about the Patreon, man. We're all behind each other. <laughs> I'm the one in front. Fuck's sake, man. We can't this shit. Oh, this is class, man. He's gonna end up in the Eddie graveyard. Oh, Eddie man. Career. At about two forty, he clipped Lar with a yep. great left hook, though, man. He, he swallowed he it. himself some he time. He swallowed there. it though. He swallowed it. I mean, at least he, oh, Lara caught a left hook to the body there to to warn him. He felt that one like. Backing off, right hand yeah. by Lara. Oh, good right hand by Wharton in return. Left hook by Wharton. He's just oh. God, man. This is he, a good fight, man. If, he, if uh, he's able just... to come through, if if this fight is able to make it to the cards, we might have two absolutely fucked up decisions in one night. So saddle up, gentlemen. Oh man, I tell you, Wharton's been very, very cagey here. One thirty-three to go here in the fucking round five. Backing up. He's definitely. He's got the hands up. He's backing up. He's He's trying to try. To, I think he's trying to time Lara, but like, Lara's just walking forward now. He's confident with him will be absolutely skyrocketing. He's just throwing shots with uh, Lara, man. Honestly, I just want Lara to get a fair shake in this. You know, it's his one leg, thing. For... His legs aren't right, man. Warrington's like going side on and stuff. Yeah, he's 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 trying to maneuver. He's trying to back. He's backing off. He's trying to maneuver side movements. Back off and. Jab in there, right hand, they landed the one right hand, they've got well, a minute to go in round five. His problem is that with his back to the ropes, is that's right in Lara's wheelhouse. Every time Warrington was doing good in this fight, he was commanding center ring and he was working well. When his back ended up near the ropes, Lara was able to get to work. Lara, eh, sorry, Warrington's, where's the jab? Where's the jab went to, mate? You got a jab, man. There you go. I would just give this round up entirely if I was him. I, I, it's just oh, good left hand by Warren. <coughs> that right hand got him good too. Thirty seconds to go for me in round five. Just take John live, everybody. Andy's we're the front runner. You did a great we're job. At, we're at fifty-two. He's back with a job now, but he's still backing off. Lara's, uh, yeah, his left hooks, left uppercut, straight uppercut there again. Man, Lara let this slip away, man. He might have been able to feed his village. Yeah, oh, good. it's a good ending by the by one nice left left hooks to the body and to the head. Yeah, he's going to dig in. This is a distance fight, I think. Unless I think, he gets uh, unless he gets stopped he's... here by that's the end of round five for me. But I'm telling you, right now, this this is a heavy heavy night for him. Honestly, I, I think uh, Laura, even though he's getting caught clean. And he's feeling those punches. Uh, definitely Oof. looks more prepared. Ooh, for it. that left at 15 seconds was vicious. Yeah. 
Warrington, Warrington, uh, he he what what he, what he really did is he bailed himself out with a handful of good left hooks in this round. So, yeah, and the dangerous thing about that though is he's been on his ass twice pretty much because of those left hooks. And does he really want to trade hooks, or is that just a temporary reprieve that's going to get his ass back on the floor? I think he's back. I, I not completely. Mm. I don't know that you a lot of times get completely back after you've been buzzed like that, but he definitely looks like he's more. Solid and clear headed. Uh, it looks he's like fit, his legs he's are fit, starting isn't to... he, Gabe? He's fit, Gabe. He's a fit guy. Yeah, his legs look like they're like they're coming back to him a little bit. I think it's one of those things that anytime that uh, Laura lands a, a really big clean punch, uh, the legs could go right out from under him again. But he looks like he's back in control now. Of, of round, sort. round six started that's, two. That's what I always thought. Shakur, I always thought Shakur Stevenson and Conlon had the edge on him because I think his style, number one, you put loads of miles on the clock like that, so you can only fight like that for a short time period, in my opinion. And um, I know he's fitting that, but I I think he leans in with his head too much. You know, I, th I don't think he boxes off the jab enough. I think he rushes in too much, and I think left hooks will be his, his uh, undoing. So we'll see what this guy does going forward, but um, against those other two, I, I would favour the other two. Do you think Conlon would have the power to keep him off, Rob? I'm not so sure, you know. I think he, I think he has enough. I think he's. I think where he is now, where McConnell is now, he can stand in a trade where he has to. But I don't think he'd do that for the whole fight. I think he'd. I think he'd be in and out on him. I just. I just. I just fancy him to beat to beat Wellington and of course Davis to beat him. I think. I think the problem for Mick down the line, and it was a problem for Jamie, is cuts. Jamie cut really bad yeah. throughout his career. Yeah, swell on yeah, swell, yeah. wasn't it? I, I think Mick's Set the same, you know. Skin. Yeah, I'll tell you something interesting, guys, and whether it has to do with posture or perception, after a fighter who is perceived to be the smaller guy drops the bigger guy, that height difference starts to equal out in your eyes, and they don't look that disparate in size anymore. That's I a used great to, point. I, I, I used to bruise and mark up like, fuck, I don't know, just pasty white boy, and that, like, you know, milk skin and stuff like that, man. You get fucking... Fucking blowing me, man! I get a fucking black eye or something like that. You know? <laughs> man, Kiko gets red as shit. I think that's part of the reason why he has trouble scoring points in fights because he just <laughs> reddens after he takes shots. Thirty-four year old, by the way. Thirty-four year old. Fuck, you're still a year younger him, than me. I remember, him beating, I remember him beating done with hair, by the way. <laughs> so we're in the last minute here, around six, getting heavy here Ooh. again. Laura's yeah, starting to get a lot of uh, bruising around that right yeah, cheekbone there, Andrew. So, yeah, right face, uh, right side, of his, right side of his face is getting really marked up. Warden's not escaping any damage either, actually. To be honest with you, but, uh, Warden has landed a good few left hooks in this fight, and that as well, so that'll account for that yeah, damage yeah. and that. What What I don't understand with Warrington is he's doing most of his movements into that left hook of Laura's. I, you know, I, I'm hitting here about fifty times. Big uppercut. Yeah, here about 55 seconds, him with a good right hand left. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm last, not sold. I'm not last, sold on what Warrington's doing. Last 10 seconds here for me. Lara's still pressing it. Warrington's obviously having to try and kind of stand his ground from time to time. And that he's, as I say, it's a bit more kind of closer around this, actually. Some good punches landing for BF guys. And that's the end of the round. Round six for me there, so. Yeah, there's got beat. Have you got Bean on the commentary? Who, who's more, got Bean? Yeah. It's every time Laura lands a punch. It I looks he's like he's. It looks like Warrington is kind of loopy every time he every time he gets a punch landed on him. Wow, Laura's really marking up now. His eyes starting to close too. Yeah, I think if Warren can maybe just keep the jab, he's going to get that jab going. Keep yeah. the jab, 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 and then just occasionally if he can hook off the jab, they're just really showing that knockdown by that. That is some left hook, like fucking hell. Rob's right, man. Warrington's taking a lot of shots in this fight. He yeah, has. Well, and, th and there you go. And now, now, uh, regardless of the outcome, he's talking a recovery period before he can take his next fight. George Groves is watching us wondering, by the way, how the fuck did that get stopped against Carol Froch? This, this really showed that whole segment <laughs> there, by the way. Honestly, Warren's legs, man, are absolutely gone in that end of that round. Yeah. He is finished. He's, this is round seven starting, and he's, he's still in there. So it's It'd be, uh, be interesting to see him fighting a Shakura, you know, because it's a dog he'll, fight, put, he'll, he'll put it on Shakura Stevenson, I think. It's a dogfight, this one, by the way. This uh -huh. guy, if you went, oh, listen, let's, let's be honest, he's not going to get a decision, is he? 
after no. what's been happening, no. obviously. But uh, no chance. Well, what yes. I got to ask you guys here is is seeing, and I know A B A faced B B C D all that stuff doesn't necessarily to work. But does watching this make you have more doubt that Frampton is going to beat Herring? No, I think Frampton's going to lose to Herring. To be honest with you, that will be his last fight. He'll be retired and gone. I after I agree, and 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 Fram- and Herring is a little bit better than even Money right now. I it's I was kind of surprised. He's massive also for the weight as well. Is is that just because Irish people betting it and that just moves the line? Oh, big left hand from Laura. Irish love their own mate. Hey, they'll back Herring. It's Irish like. Rob will tell you that one. Talking to you, Rob. You guys moving the line, helping me get better odds on uh, Herring? <laughs> a lot of people are backing Herring. I've been looking on the Facebook groups and stuff. Last I three think, or four I think games. that's a red Herring. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's been bouncing back between about plus 120, plus 130. Um, oh, good job by Warren there. The thing, he, oh God, man, he oh, at, a, at about two oh five. Yeah, he caught him with the nice. He caught him with a nice uh, forty five right there. He came I'm underneath one, with that one. It was a good shot. I'm at one two five. This is one caught him a good jab. I speak, he's just he's just doing the jab, jab hook, right hand. But this, you know, I just don't think he's got the, the full power behind them actually. Kind of get the keep him off him. This ladder's just he just keeps coming. Um, but he wants fed, baby. That's what it is. He's just—he's hungry. Oh yeah, he yeah he didn't fly over there to throw in the towel on this one. Ooh, he was, good he's good there. Because here's the thing about it: regardless of what Warrington did with his title, uh, it, this is basically de facto winning a championship, as far as like in the eyes of your position in the division. Both right? right hands. One kind of, I think maybe kind of getting the kind of last minute that's when he's kind of getting a bit stronger. But Lara, man, he's, he is just throwing shots. Hooks, uh, hook to the body, Lara. Oof. Yeah, yeah, right at about a buck oh three. He landed a right hand to the body, left hook over the top. No, good no, good left hook by Warren there on, the, on that, that. That face is getting worse, man, honestly. Mm-hmm. I don't know if the blood's running in his face now, but that is getting really. The eyes starting to close. Boys in the chat enjoying this yeah, decent scrap, says Thomas Burn here. Yeah, absolutely, mm-hmm. but listen, I'm, yeah. I'm taught. I'm, his face, his le- right side of uh, Lara's face is like like steak colour before he gets cooked. That's just it's just red, beefy. Oh, it's just horrible, man. I wonder if Lara's come here, Andy, to give it the nine or ten rounds and see how he gets on. Mm. Sometimes them boys do that, you know, just ha- let it all hang out. Oh, to be honest, mate, what's, he's, he's, that, that knockdown wasn't in the plan, put it that way, because <laughs> that, that was that a is, heavy, heavy that knockdown, a, that was. That is a heavy left hook, mate, and he's still yeah. looking for those left hook. He's pressing it all around. Here's Andy Clark's scorecard. He's got 67-65 to Lara. He even gave a round 70. He's gave the last two rounds to Lara, actually, as well. And Warrington keeps moving into that left hand. Yeah, I, I, he, he judges here? He's a judge for hey, I, I think uh, he's having a little bit of a hard time. Seeing two is left. Uh, excuse me, Warrington's right eye is uh, looks like it's closing a little bit. Not, yeah, not w- Warrington has high cheekbones, Gabe, doesn't he? Yeah. Hey, Andy, do you remember uh, who beat Herring? Shafikov, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I was, I, yeah that's, the one, that's the one hold off I have. Shorter fighter. This was at one thirty-five, but a shorter fighter that likes to put his punches together. I I, I don't know. It, it 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 gave me a bit of pause. Here we go, th- round eight starting yeah. for me. Depends how Frampton goes down the stretch, Matty, I think. He's yeah. stamina in the last nine, you know, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. But Frampton's not a killer in the later rounds either, you know? But he's, had, he's had hand problems as well. He's had, he's had broken hands and stuff like that. Right, he's, right. well, he's, he's, he's a good stamina fighter, though. He trains in Colorado Springs mm, where the Olympians no, no train. Up that way, no, up at that way, anyway. I, I just think he's... He's had, I mean, he's had a long amateur career. He's had a long a pro career. A lot of gym wars and that as well. A lot of training camps. Something to make one twenty two. That's a good you point. Know, he's, you know, for, for a guy that size and that that age, he is ancient. Yeah, and I love Carol, by the way. I would wish to have, to have been there to actually see his last fight and stuff like that. But I'm just I, like, I, I, man, you know. I, just, I could kind of see him it, like Leo, just one weight too high and meeting a pretty tough ending on that one. Oh, I remember sitting in a hotel in Glasgow actually after a night out with the wife and that I saying, well, so I want to go back to the hotel and watch uh, Frampton fight in Santa Cruz. I watched uh, Carol win his world title um, on, on my birthday actually in Spain. You know, the wife says, "What do you want to do on your birthday?" I says, "I want to go see the, I want to go see the fight." 
in the an Irish bar, sitting there all night and I'm watching the boxing, see Carol beat Kiko Martinez in, in, in Belfast and that, you know, so nice. been there numerous Frank times, met Carol, met Carol numerous times, seen Carol spar yeah. John Simpson, you know, John Simpson I've got loads of respect for, I love John Simpson, one of my greatest uh, British fighters uh, that I remember in my time and stuff, but you know, Carol made him quit the training once because he hit my body shot you know, and that was when Carol was 6-0 Celtic champion at the time and stuff. Like, like, Carl was, so I, I, Carl I has had a long way with him, you know. Career. Unbelievable yep. career. Unbelievable One, career. Best of an Irish fighter. Man, right at about, about a minute 40 there, trading yep. hooks. Ooh, and Laura got the best of that one. Yeah, interesting boys. McKetch on Twitter, who I follow, says, look out for Warrington's left leg. He thinks he might have hurt it. The way oh, he yeah. saw it. And McKetch is a boxer himself, so, he, you know, he would maybe know. Just something to keep an eye on. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just you made me look at it for a second there. I'm just gonna kind of look at it actually, but he's oh, he's bouncing back and forward. Minute no thirteen, left, good left hook, followed by a right hand. Seconds to go here. He, when are you just gonna Apparently, pause it for twenty seconds, Andy? Warren's kind of backing up a wee bit actually, <laughs> but he's trying to jab, covering up. Lara's kind of. <laughs> no, what's that? Well, I would date, but it's not, oh, there. Lara landed a real nice left hook to the body at about fifty-five seconds. I left it by Warren there, 20 seconds to go. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Maddie. Shipping. A lot of good shots from Laura. I, I feel like he's landing the punches that 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 are the biggest and, and look to be like they're the most effective. Oh, uh, I think that's a little bit of the text. psychology of it, though, because he's still coming forward the mm -hmm. whole time. Even whenever uh, Warrington lands a big punch, he's still coming forward, uh -huh. which gives you the Either impression end. that you those bigger punches that Warrington lands – Aren't having as much uh, impact. You have but, to wait ring generalship to Lara. That he boy. is definitely dictating the terms of the fight. What so, stage you at now, Andy? That's the end of the round for me, mate. Tony Bell, you just behind. Just one of, one of I'm not far behind. I've got a Lennox seen. Lewis fight on. I think <laughs> Tony Bell is just is apparently tweeted that that will be the greatest survival he's ever seen. End of the round now. <laughs> I'm going back inside. Sorry, so me and Andy are going to do Jim. Me, me and Andrew are going to do. Uh, we're going to do Jim Watt, Rage Cut Treat style for the last few rounds. Like, I'm going back inside. <laughs> Maybe we're going live. Fuck it, we do it live. What we're going to do, actually. I was thinking about this, Rob, just before we get into this next round, and that is like to the, the, um, that, uh, the old firm stuff we're going to be doing. I think we should do a uh, every quarter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, every quarter before like every each game and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. We can do um if they play each other in the cups or whatever, we can do one for that. Like, yeah. yeah, I think it doesn't make yeah. sense to do it every fucking we haven't got time to do it every week anyway, but it'd be a nice exactly. one off for the lads like, for the fucking exactly. for the crack. You'll get well, to you'll get like, to hear it. Looks like Warrington's learning that you don't play boxing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right right stuff. The boys are asking right here right for more cliches, not enough cliches. Tell you oh, what, he's shit. a tea tough tough Mexican. Oh here. I he's tough, he's hard, he's so very rugged. He's been training for so long for this opportunity. Yeah. Can I can I go with the Lampley? Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Rob, Rob, go and give us your L L Grandy moment. <laughs> oh, he just died on me there. Rob's exiting. Oh, I good left two by Lara. Oh, oh, he felt that one. Josh is. Oh, he's felt it too. Oh, oh he's down again. Left no he's, way. Out. he's out. Oh, he's getting up. He's waved off. One stopped. Wait, what? Two minutes to go. <laughs> Left hooks galore by Lara. <laughs> is, he is he lying? Is he lying? Tell the truth. Stop them. Didn't even give him a count. Just wait the fight off. Stopped it. And Warren lies back down. He, is, he must be crying, man. Honest to God. He's in the mood auction, man. Oh, mask. there he is. I got the hook no now. Bang. I'll let you guys First catch one. up. But what There's a knockout, second, man. Third, fourth. He just winging left hooks now. There he went. There he went. There he went, Warrington. He's down. Yep, Laura wins. Wow, what a shocker. Did not see that coming. I like uh, Josh Warrington a fair bit. Definitely didn't see that coming. Wow, down. Whoa. Let me rewind this back, actually. Just can't get out the way of the left hook. Oh, oh man, my God. he just caught that the whole wow. fight. Wow. Oh, my goodness. The Hearn Graveyard. He should never left Warren, and he's gave up that belt as well. Poor bastard. He's got nowhere to go. In fact, it was a right hand actually that caught him in the left hook. Right hand, immediate left hook. He caught another like, two left hooks after that. 
Yep. Uh, he he took about six or seven left hooks there in, that, in the space of ten seconds. But there, it was the right hand that set up the left hook as well. At the time of the stoppage, some guy who I had an argument with over Warrington two months ago just I'll tweeted what, me, so that cunt has been sitting there waiting all this what, time. Baby, just rewatch and shout out to Lara as well, because that's Lara's <laughs> trainer. It's coming to, Lara's actually pointed to wow. Warrington and actually looked at his trainer and told him to get his arse in the ring here. And it's actually it's actually Lara's trainer it was the first in the ring to get to Warrington, uh-huh. actually. My God. To help him out. He's not... I just obviously wrote every round that I was just kind of push it forward. He's still lined in, obviously, eh? but oh man, that's a bad, that's a bad ending. Fair play to Matty. He said two weeks in a row about you know just be careful, and I didn't really listen but to me, him. Me, what's I was saying about, about, about the lockdown and that. I mean, it was we mentioned about um, about a uh, oh Hughes. What's his name? Oh fuck, what's his name? Oh, Maxi Hughes. Maxi Hughes having the you know the fact is you know. You know, maybe it was maybe more his environment. It was kind of like kind of sparring, kind of kind of like environment. These kind of professional fights and stuff. But we've had a few a few kind of stunners actually uh, with these lockdowns and stuff like that. But that's that's a big one. That's I, I, I tell you, I, I, there were a few people lost a few bit of cash the right on that one. Like Jesus fair play Christ. to Laura. You couldn't let it go to the judges, could you? If you were Laura, you couldn't. Oh. You, you couldn't risk it. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Sure, no, I'm not sure. Sure, but that is Eddie's. Eddie's a stone cold killer of careers, man. He's like the Fred West of boxing, man. He's freaking icing people here. Jesus, oh my God. You have to learn. Don't sign with her. Don't earn me hell, basically. Fucking hell. <laughs> if Frank wants to be chuckle to himself in there. Wow. That was. Uh... I didn't realize I was muted for that long. <laughs> you talking about yourself? Or? I possibly, possibly so. <laughs> that was a, that. It was an incredible performance by Lara. It's uh, you know I, I hope Warrington's all right, but that that kid got the short end of the stick. And you know, in my opinion, you were looking at the uh, the uh, IBF champion right there. You know, my goodness. Yeah, Warrington is fucked up ten ways from Sunday, though. You can see him walking back to his corner. He he is rattled. So I rode back now for that one. Like, I mean, that's he's out the ring now. Was it sixteen months? He's beat the, like that, and he's come. He's come back fight. I mean, the geez. question is, can you come back from fights like that? Sometimes some fighters can, and some yeah. fighters can't. Let's not let's not tell ourselves that this the was damage. a one off. Yeah, I mean that was. He was getting battered around that the ring tonight. It was it was vicious. Um, Lara came to fight, man, and uh, you know it. We'll have to see Lara in his next fight to really know what this loss is for Warrington. If this kid comes up and he just has it now and he starts blasting people, you know, shit happens. But if he ends up getting stopped, uh, you know, and handed over to a, a fellow titleist or uh, you know ranked fighter after this. Um, you know, Warrington might have slipped uh, beyond uh, contention. I tell you, but what a great thing to do, actually, because Steve, remember the last time you did, you had a post? Was a, when was the last live fight we did, actually? I was going to say it was Martin Murray. Was it Martin Murray? Due, due in the fight on Patreon. Yeah. We did Amir Khan, Samuel Vargas, and Little Huey Fury, one. Sam Sexton. Fury Sexton was quite a good knockout, actually. This, the reach and the knockout, that right hand that set up all those left hook snaps was fucking phenomenal. I phenomenal think... right hand. Mm-hmm. I mean, and like that that last left hook. Jeez, I mean, Christ, he could rip the fucking jaw off him just about there. Howard right Foster getting left... a lot of stick, boys here on Twitter for not stopping it earlier. Well, that's what I'm saying. I bet you George Grove is on the, is on the phone at the fucking press and complaining like fucking that. You know, how the fuck did they? Does Warren getting all that? Getting all the, all the, all the chances and stuff. But Jesus. No, I'll tell you what, I, uh, you know what, people do make mistakes in the past, but you want to, you know, uh, you positively reinforce the good things. That was the right stoppage. That fight was where Steve Smoger would have probably stopped the fight, and that's where I think most refs should set their watch to. I have seen far too many fighters robbed of an opportunity. Yes, some might have been saved from some serious shit. But I think that you accept some form of risk and that he gave him every chance up to the point that he thought he couldn't defend himself anymore. That That's a, that's Smoger Hall of Fame right there. Mm-hmm. Good stoppage. 
Jordan Wills has mentioned me on Twitter saying uh, Warren's been fighting concussed for four rounds. Bad refereeing and corner. Most That's fighters a, could mm. fight concussed for multiple rounds. Let's be honest. Bad night for Sean O'Hagan and Andy Reese Mould yeah. losing earlier as well. I tell you what, by that was a good fight. That was a really that good fight. That was a good fight. Uh, yeah, Wood showed his experience. Round that was there. yeah, that was a good scrap. I thought we were coming on early, and I that would have been even a fun fight to talk about. I think it was round, was it round three and four, or was it round two and three? I think it was. I can't forget what you know. Four, he, he went uh, down, and yeah, Mo really kind of stepped, you know, really kind of sent his authority in that, and then fucking Wood comes around and just kind of really turns the tables not in the in the following round. But uh, oh, fair play to this Lara, by the way. I hope he gets yeah. a big fight off this by the way, or you know, a decent uh, payday yeah. opportunity TV. Title fight, whatever it is, and I know, I know, I know, we shouting the belts and stuff like that, and the titles now. But you know, these guys like these, you know, I hadn't seen none of this guy before. Nothing. Well, he done, Andy, he done something that I always say. He come and he took his opportunity. There's nothing worse than guys who leave it in the ring, and he didn't leave anything in the ring. Yep. Tw- I mean, I think as you look at his record, right, he's got, he's got, he's got one stop his defeat on his record, and it's a first round blowout, right? I think he got uh-huh. done in something like fifty seconds. Um, twenty two year old. 22 and 2, 15 knockouts. I mean, dude, yeah, clearly, yeah, as I said earlier on the, on, uh, on the broadcast, not, clearly one of these guys, you know, they're learning the job and you just don't know. I mean, they, they get, you know, they're hungry, they get bread toughed in there, man. And think, you know, some, sometimes you, you will get a wee, a wee pot and polished diamond that will kind of come through. He was uh-huh. fucking, he was phenomenal the other night, but he came in, he had an attitude that I'm taking it to him, I'm going to win this fight. And here's Eddie there, but he's fucking rascal, fucking. Put him in there. Put him in there with the, hide the fat. Yeah, fuck, even Eddie, yeah, fat bastard. Put, put him in there with uh with Gary Russell Jr. You know what? At least he'll give an account of himself in that fight. This kid's not gonna lay down. I don't think he wins, but he's gonna make no. Gary Russell fight every fucking minute of, of the fight. R- Russell, R- Russell only fights once a year. Let's see him in against somebody like another champion. I think if we're going to have him, no. That my opinion is this is basically the other champion. He should have basically in the in the eyes of his peers, this is a champion. That's what this victory was. Well, the thing is, well, I think it was right anyway. Fight news are saying that Lara was actually ranked or is or was ranked number eight with IBF, right? So we'll just go through the rankings here. Well, obviously the belt's vacant. Galahad's the mandatory contender or challenger for the belt, number one. Number two is uh, vacant. You've got Jezza Dickens, number three. Mark McZeo, Antonio Gaigo, Brock Jarvis, Mick Conlon, Mauricio Lara, uh, Luis Lopez Vargas, Rao Sagwa, uh, and that kind of rounds off the kind of top 10. There's a, there's a, there is a top 15, but they've got Ryan Walsh bringing up the top 15 and stuff. Isaac Lowe as well, number 12. What what the hell were you reading off the rankings or you're reading off a list of list of UN ambassadors? <laughs> I I'm just sorry, I'm just listening to uh, Lara's getting interviewed here. Sorry, mate. That's okay. Right, oh, boys, yeah. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go around everybody and give you a chance to finish off here because I'm going to work in the morning, so I'm gonna close it up if you don't mind. Matty, do you want to give us your night's assessment for the Patreon subscribers? I, I think it was a fantastic fight. It exceeded uh, the uh, the card in the, on the whole, exceeded our expectations. I don't think it went the promoter's way, and uh, sometimes that's good for the sport. Uh, every once in a while, they deserve their comeuppance. Bob Kelly, anything from you, sir? Yeah, I had a complete mare. Uh, battery went just as I logged onto my DAZN, only to find out that <laughs> the fight wasn't on my version of DAZN anyway, so it must be region restricted and shown somewhere uh, else. So, uh, one day they will spend. Fuck's <laughs> sake. <laughs> Team Andy did say on Twitter, what a fucking fight that was, just as I'm getting my power all, all juiced up. And then uh, I've only just found out the result on Twitter now because I haven't seen who won it, but uh, Lara, yeah, credit to him. I saw in the first round that he was pretty heavy-handed or wanted and definitely put something on him in the first round and made him think this fella can bang like and he just don't think he had to do anything spectacular to beat Warren and by the sounds of it. So that's uh maybe worrying for his his where he is at the moment. But um if this guy Larry doesn't get the title shot now after that, man, he has to be the in line for the vacant title. Like that was a that was a hell of a performance. I just seen the knockout how here I'm looking at some of the um some of the highlights, but yeah, uh, cracking, cracking fight. Well done, Ed. Even Ed. Don't think you're on the Patreon. Yeah, so you might have to 
I don't think he He might be doing Patreon soon, I think, if he kills any more careers. <laughs> Frank Warren will be shoulder rolling his way into IFL videos this week. Like, well, so. <laughs> Eddie's going to have to get on the phone to Big Dan, I think, soon. <laughs> well, uh, Frank will be basking in it this week, like. Oh, oh, nice. you imagine, imagine Frank Warren, he'll be basking in it, he'll be James Tony in the shoulder roll, like the fuck with it, by the way, he? Oh, he'll be snide as fuck this week. Oh, Charlie Tight Loops. <laughs> uh, World of DW says Lava should get the IBF number one ranking to fight the Dickens Galahad win. I was going to say something similar myself, actually. Uh, Gabe, any final assessments from you, sir? No, I thought it was a fun fight. I mean, you, you got what you wanted. You got two guys going in there trying to fight. Uh, you know, Warrington, despite a loss, I mean, I thought he he uh, he didn't quit. He he kept on going. He just uh, didn't have the the. the tricks in the hat to pull it out you know i mean i think he could have very easily turn things around like andy said if he would have used his jab a bit more um but he didn't he was buzzed people don't fight the same way whenever they're whenever they're hurt and uh it, yeah, it cost him a win i mean laura came in the fight had a hell of a fight i enjoyed it Interesting on the old Twitter here, Paddy Barnes has tweeted out, that's a disgrace, and then he tagged in at Sky Sports, Adam Smith and Matthew Macklin. Even thinking it was close, are two balloons too. Call it how it is, for fuck's sake, it's not funny anymore, says Paddy. And Matthew Macklin's come back in on him. <laughs> Who's a balloon, you little prick? Get back in your little box, you cheeky muppet. <laughs> beef? Paddy Barnes. I would not be beefing with this man, Matthew Macklin. Paddy's going to get a horse's me. head on the pillow, I think. <laughs> Hey, Steve, if you want to step away, I can always hit end broadcast over on my end. Well, I I'm going, so you lot can stay on if you want, so it's up to you. Hey, hey, dude, hey they guys, they got a real thing with Paddy Barnes. I mean, Paddy's like me. Like, he just, like, chips up hate people, but what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> my Macklin, but he, he, you went all corporate all of a sudden by the empty key prick. What the fuck? <laughs> Good job we're blocked in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, Daniel. Uh, any <laughs> final comments from you, Andy? Just some. I think Gabe's summary yeah. was quite good. Actually, it was a really fun fight, wasn't it? Yeah, we've, we've got the we've got the Bond villain on just now. Eddie Helm giving his uh, thoughts and opinions, expert analysis. Eddie Hills, sorry, ex amateur boxer. Um, what a man! What a weekend for him. I, I, I'm just he's gonna... actually convinced. He's actually convinced he's one of his own fighters to vacate the world belt. To see him get fucking splattered and iced and fucking. Yeah. And he's, like, and he's like, I'm just going to go home and cry over a big order of chips. <laughs> I don't know if he, I, I, I missed it. I don't know if he's going to call for a, a rematch and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's a shock all round, actually. It's been, it's been interesting. It's been, it's been a good broadcast, actually. Been, uh, that's a shocker. That is an absolute shocker, actually. I, th I, I mean, what I picked, what did I pick last week? Did anybody call? Actually, Andy, a shocker is two in the. No, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't see it by the first and last round, but you'd be worried for Warrington that he doesn't seem to make adjustments. I said that about the Galahad fight too. He, he seems to be one way to fight. Like if we can figure that out, then yeah. We're gonna I mean, I wasn't when he was hurt there. He was, he was, he was throwing well shots and stuff. Like, as I say, it was like Frampton first round against Frampton when he got hurt. He's just winging shots. He hasn't holding. He's no jabbing and stuff like that. He's just, and he's getting picked off. We fucking either yeah, hooks man. the body, hooks upstairs, or right upper <coughs> and, and as you see, he couldn't adjust. He's walking in that left hand constantly, and that stoppage. I think I, as I say, the right hand, the mainly the right hand was what set up that, that first left hook, and then it was like left hooks galore afterwards, and he got stopped ice brutally. Um, as I say, it was, a was, it was a heavy, heavy knockout, and Lara's like fucking like. Get in here, get in here, and you know the auctions in pretty quick as well. Um, well. I love this. I have to say, I love not not wishing bad on Warrington. I do like Warrington, and I like his whole attitude and everything. And um, maybe this is a lesson the fighters. I don't know if this is too harsh or not, but to not be just jacking belts over politics. They're supposed to mean something, like you know what I mean. But anyway, regardless of where where you are, that, that's not saying he deserves to get beat. Uh, Lara took his moment. I'd never seen him, but he obviously felt something in the first round there. He's definitely heavy handed. He can punch you. Give anyone a fight, man. That fella. I'd love to see. I'd love to see him in against a better guy. Um, but for Warrington, the fight one way style, like it's. It's now you get you get the feeling that fellas will stand off him a little bit more. Like I don't think Frampton was able to get distance on him because of the size difference. But 
I don't know. I think the, the, the top tier of that division they were gonna be licking the chops looking at that, like wouldn't if you get a big payday when the crowds come back at Ellen Roll, I think they'd fancy it like well, some people have trouble taking punches when they have trouble making the weight too. You know, but Warrington's fairly big for the weight. Maybe he has to bounce up a, a division. Maybe, maybe he goes up and he has another couple of like he's a, like uh, Steve said earlier. Like he's a super fit guy. Like he hasn't taken massive amounts of punishment, I suppose. But he does have that fight with his face style. I think there's all, there's always um, expiry date on that. Joey Nelson just turned up there, but he's poverty stricken, fucking chinchilla. Yeah. Uh, uh, Paddy, uh, Paddy Barnes update here, boys. He's gone back at Macklin again. He says, Matthew, read my tweet again. I said you're a balloon. Take your well-earned paycheck off Sky and talk shite. Thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> and, and, guy, guy, I'm going to get involved in this one. Guys, uh, they're showing some of the replays here. And I'm telling you, that was uh, the, uh, the, he really used that 45 really good. He wasn't throwing a left hook, really. He was he was definitely throwing a lot of these shots more underneath. Uh, Lara threw some clever, clever shots in there. See, but also, I think, I think Warren needs to go to hospital. Like, I think he just should... Just for like safety and stuff like that. I mean, what, no, he what, should. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, I might is, take a risk. You know, he's got to go there, mate. He's got to go and get the. Oh, he will. He will get to hospital. I think hundred yeah. percent after that. They give him oxygen and everything. What is she wearing, by the way? Oh, I don't know. It's not a chaff tracksuit that she's wearing now. So I didn't want it to be sound like I'm, I'm kind of like encouraging <laughs> hatred on the woman oh. and stuff like that. She's the woman and stuff. Bands, Paddy Barnes had a go very hard too. Eddie, Eddie said in his tweet, this could go either way. How you got it, Barrett Martinez. That's Sky Sports Boss Boxing. And Paddy Barnes said, Eddie, evil stick, wise, wise up. Paddy's on the Guinness tonight, yeah. He's on the Guinness tonight, the fucking mad bastard. He's fucking on the Guinness, I'm telling you. <laughs> fucking mental case. Oh. He said, oh, he's having to go with Bill Gates today as well, Paddy Barnes, but it looks so there's lots going, lots going on. Yeah. He's gone in on Matchroom as well here, Rob. If you're a boxer not signed to Matchroom, I'd suggest not fighting any of their stable. Absolute jokers, he said an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, he did too. <laughs> Good on him, actually. Good on Barry Barnes for that. He's, 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 got, he's got to be on the hard stuff, ain't he? Yeah. Well, I've got a phone call in the morning about that Macklem one. <laughs> Uh, right, boys, let's wrap it up then. Thanks, everybody who's been on. We've had a good laugh. The Patreon um, chat has started to pick up a little bit. I'll, I'll put it on the iTunes as well so you can have a listen back. It's, it's always great fun, isn't it, listening back to the fight whenever you're not yeah. watching it. But our, Andy was our main man tonight, our lead, oh, lead commentary, Andy. You were like Bean tonight. Well Thank done. God. Cheers for that. You know, I worked so very hard for yeah. this. Th thanks yeah. for the psychic visions, Mother Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheers for that, guys. Uh, no, I've just seen Paddy Barn just like my tweet there, actually, to, to Matthew Mack one. So uh, it must be like <laughs> right enough no. no but hey no it was uh, it was it was good it was uh, it's something different for us in that I suppose I, I, I know we're not like, calling everything that's happened during the fight and that but uh, I thought well we the next time I'll try, I'll try and promise thought, to be inside depending on I the thought, card I thought we kind of called it pretty fair in that you know um, yeah it was a good fight but yeah Steve needs to go doesn't he so Viva La Mexico cheers boys Matty's in charge tomorrow night we'll catch you all then I will be on at some point